Hello everybody, my name is Corey Wilkins. I'm here today at Johnson RV, home of the premium pre-owned superstore out here in Sandy, Oregon, at the base of uh, Mount Hood off of Highway 26. It's a gorgeous day. Today I'm going to take you around. I'm going to show you this 2011 Monaco. It's a 32 PBS. This is a front engine diesel coach. Unbelievably gorgeous. Let's start from the front, work our way around, and then we'll go into the inside. Uh, engines in the front of the coach. Uh, now, typically, back in the day, front engines were very, very loud and obnoxious. This is not. Um, I've driven this coach. It's nice and smooth, quiet, typical Monaco build. Uh, very nice. It's got a really re retro looking front. You'll notice that it has a low profile too, right? Uh, this coach isn't your standard 12 feet 7 inches. It's a lot less than that. It's 11 feet 7 and some change. So uh, storage is going to be is going to be a much easier. Uh, we'll start in the front here. We've got the diamond shield in the front to protect us from rock chips. As you can see, this coach has low miles, but at the same time, it was well taken care of. We've got the chrome mirrors in the front here right and then we also have the uh, side cameras on there so when we turn a right turn signal we can see down the whole entire side of the coach uh, full body paint of course right the front storage is going to be our battery disconnect this Vesta has also been built on the uh, Freightliner chassis so it rides extremely nice and quiet all the doors open nice and smooth great basement storage down below here nice propane tank. You'll notice that you have the awning style windows, really nice graphics, and then you have a power awning that's right up top of there that's kind of seated back in behind that little tiny um, uh, shroud which kind of keeps everything uh, nice and clean looking. Another big basement storage. Now the highlight of this coach being that it is 33 feet in total length is the huge storage in the rear. Take a look at that. You can access this from both sides. This coach packs a punch, and we're going to see. On the backhand side, you've got this really nice look in the back. LED lights in the top there. Uh, you have the backup camera. You've got the tow hitch right there. This tow rating on this coach is 7,500 pounds. There's your power cord. Nestles right up there in that little tiny holder. Down below here. We've got our hot and cold shower. Obviously, this is where our black and our gray tanks are, where we our dump station. Got a little tiny hand sanitizer uh, over there, and of course, our fresh water fill and everything else is going to be there. You'll look here. This is one of the large slides in the coach. Underneath, we have some more basement storage below there, exhaust pipe. This coach does have an awning topper on the back there, so then that way it keeps all the debris and everything, all the needles and all that stuff from pooling over on top and keeps the, uh, the rain out of there. Over here on the driver's side, we have another side camera, so we can see down the side of the uh, coach that way. This coach does have a 7,500 pound towing capacity, which is really nice. A lot of the smaller diesels had around 5,000, so this is 260 horsepower, packs a punch. Let's go take a look at the inside. Here we are inside. We're going to start in the front here. Check out this cockpit. This cockpit is utterly amazing. It's totally dialed. Um, we've got our battery boost. We've got our heated mirrors up there. Obviously, our, our mirrors are fully electric. We've got our cruise control here. We can power our windshield wipers and everything from right here instead of reaching off the dash. Everything's just right at our ready with our fingertips. We've got our transmission and our shift there. We've got a Garmin up top. GPS is always great. I know for one, I need it. Um, Everything's going to be uh, touch in the front, your power shades, fog lights, your ATC and everything, all that jazz is up front, uh, your camera. Up above here, typical Monaco, right? We've got great storage, nice solid bins, beautiful wood, great stain, nice ultra leather. You'll notice these captain chairs are fully power. They obviously swivel around. Um, the interior height of this coach on the inside is just a pinch under seven feet. So uh, we have tons of... Uh, Tons of height in here for the size of it. Up above here is going to be our main control panel along on the side here. So we've got our uh, wind sensor awning. We've got our one touch leveling jacks. Of course, when we want to adjust our heat and our AC and that sort of thing, obviously we got to do that right there. This is our control for our inverter, right? A couple extra controllers. This right here looks like. Uh, like we can change the colors on our LED light on our awning. That's pretty cool. And we have a remote control. Um, over here, this coach does have solar. 
and then of course our black and gray and all of our checks are going to be right here on the side so everything's basically at our ready right when we walk in the coach come into the uh, into the galley area everything's all integrated right nice solid countertops Korean countertops huge stainless steel sink obviously that's integrated as well this works as a great countertop over here we've got a convection microwave this is residential very nice to have three burner tons of storage down below here as well as underneath the sink here everything's kind of just curved so it goes with the flow of the couch we've got a nice big Norco refrigerator with an ice maker it's always nice to have an ice maker when we're out how are we gonna make those margaritas if we don't have an ice maker our pantry is huge and it opens up and it's lit really nice we can add some extra store uh, storage shelves to that if we want to and get the little tiny clips and put them in there and kind of organize everything coming up into the uh, bedroom area we have a privacy door by Jeanette hi Jeanette privacy door here nice big shower and Janelle will get a good shot of that from this other side here. Skylight, so if you are tall, you can still get in there. Nice big queen size bed. I'm not a tall guy, but still I have plenty of room. We actually have a headboard, reading lamps if we want to read, right? Then up above we got some great storage. Some armoires over here with this curvature of the uh, wood there. And some shelves and a couple nightstands. Right behind Jeanette is going to be a little tiny flat screen TV there. And across from the shower is going to be the vanity. Vanity, bathroom, very nice, hard surfaces, stainless steel, plenty of storage there. The coach has MCD shades, right? So your day and night shades you can just pull down instead of the louvered kind where you got to push them back up. We've got a flat screen across from the galley there, and it's recessed into the into the wall there it is a midship tv which is really nice so everybody can see all the way around we've got a huge ultra leather booth dinette which obviously can turn into a sleeper right we've got plenty of storage up above here the people that had it before put in this little fancy little clock with the weather and everything else like that on there that's always nice to have underneath the sofa we have a pull out bed so and that'll come out to about here and then of course we do have the full wall slide here my name is Corey Wilkins. Give me a call here at Johnson RV, 503-668-5400. Love to talk to you about the coach and uh, talk to you too about the Johnson RV Advantage and, and what we do here and what separates us from the rest. Have a great day. Thank you.